Okay, before the video starts, I gotta say this. Before you guys say, Mythical, why are you making the video on MVP Elliot? What the fuck did he do, you bitch? Well, I'm making the video on him because I can, alright? It's my channel, I have the rights to, and he's a public figure. So, of course I can make this on him. And another fucking reason is... I don't like the guy at all. I do not like him and I want to say what I want to say to him. So if you want to say, oh Mythical, you're just doing it for the fuse, for the clout. Okay, let me say this, okay. He has 3k subs, he does not have clout, okay. Like, you could say that when he gets a million or half a million subs, okay. Then fair enough. But... But if you're saying I'm doing it for fuses and all that shit, then you're fucking stupid, okay? Because he's not even that big of a YouTuber. So, let's get right into it and, of course, play the fucking intro, right? God damn now. Hey, guys. It's your boy Mythical. Today we are making a video on MVP Elliot. And before we do start, actually, uh, I gotta say this: MVP Elliot, there will be some edgy jokes. So, it, so I know that you don't like edgy jokes. So I recommend that you leave right now before you moan like a little bitch like normal. So let's now get into why Elliot's a really trash YouTuber. Oh, and by the way, don't get offended because it's my opinion. And if you don't like my opinion, then feel free to share your opinion if you like to. And if you want to agree with me, then feel free to agree with me because you have the rights to agree with me as well. And if someone gets upset at you for, well, over a fucking opinion, then uh, they're just fucking retarded. Imagine a grown ass man getting offended over the N word. Yes, you heard me right. What the fuck? I was joking, you listen. That's not everyone. Well, I mean, imagine. Did you just call me the N word? <laughs> yeah, report it, report it, report it. Call me again, go on. Oh, why should I? Call me again. Oh, I get it, guys. Elliot's black. Oh, by the way, I'm joking. It's called sarcasm. He's not black, he's a white man. And of course, how do you know that he isn't black himself? You know what, the best thing about the video is he says he can say the n-word, but you'll say, no, you have a voice of a white kid and all that stuff. Like, like it doesn't fucking matter. You don't sound half cast, my guy. <laughs> this guy sounds like the most white person I know. Jesus Christ, Elliot, you're making us white people look like retards. And I'm white, so I can say that, so just don't get offended when I say little things like that, okay? Which you will probably get offended, because that's all you do is get offended every day over stupid shit. Saying the N-word does not make you a racist. Like, I can even show you that it does not make you racist by playing one little thing. We are very fucking stupid to hold the word nigger at this colossally high standard, whereas every other slur, that, that can be used in a comedic sense or an editorial sense, but not this one, because that one has history. Well, guess what, fucking retards? All the other ones have history, too. Zipperhead? Yeah, yeah. Asian people didn't get their fucking heads ran, ran over in World War II. They weren't thrown into internment camps. But yeah, but... Ugh, you, but you can't say that one because it's got sort of a, it's guttural. Either all of them are okay, or none of them are okay. That's not the only thing that he gets offended by. He gets offended by very fucking edgy jokes. Wow, I never knew someone so sensitive in my life. Like, if you make a joke like that, then what he would do is say that you're a horrible human being, and that's just stupid and retarded. And it's kind of funny, too, because you did say to someone to kill themselves, which I, uh, exposed, like, six months ago, I'm pretty sure. 
And his only way to get out of that is to say, like, oh, he faked it, it's all fake. All right, then, show the actual evidence that I faked it, and then feel free to say it to everyone. All right, I'm going to say it now. MVP Elliot is now confirmed as a retard. Oh, why you say that, Mythical? Well, then, I'm going to tell you right now. The bitch did try to start more shit with me, and I'm going to show you. So, the argument started on the most legendary app ever called Discord, alright? So, basically, apparently, I talked about his retarded little sister, and, <laughs> and, uh, sharing my fucking opinion over something what I thought wasn't right what he was doing. And I'm going to show all of the screenshots right now, because... Well, I can. And before Elliot says, oh, you're taking it out of context and all that other shit. Like, I'm showing the full conversation we had. All right, so go and try to do something stupid like that. So yeah, that's all of the screenshots, feel free to look at them if you want, and take your time to read it all, and uh, yeah. And there was more drama, but guess where that's from? It's from the shitty app or website called Twitter, yeah. And I will show you the screenshots, but it's just all a mess, so if you want to do your own research, then go ahead. And that led to him talking shit about me on one of his live streams, and... That led to me uh, making a fire diss track, bro. So fucking fire. Yeah. Okay, I'm so cringe. Fucking hell. And then something big happened because I was live streaming on my second channel playing a sick game, which I highly recommend. And um, one of his friends tried to piss me off and I told him to kill himself. And yes, that might sound bad. But the clip was taken out of context because after that I said I was sorry or something like that and I didn't mean it. But no, they have to cut that shit out, don't they? Like, be in my shoes. Imagine you getting so pissed off at someone after they backstabbed you. That, oh, you have so much anger in you that, a, like, a word could slip out. And the three words I said was kill yourself. Because I was angry, alright? Like, everyone gets angry, so don't you dare say, Oh, I don't care if you get angry, you can't say that shit. Shut the fuck up, you bitch. It's not like you told someone to kill themselves before. Hmm, that seems very hypocritical coming from you. And where's the proof? Well, go and check out my other thing on him called The Dark Side of MVP. By the way, thank you for all of the support on that because that's got like over 100 likes now. And if you want to check um, MVP Elliot's uh, ratings on his ones, then uh, feel free because, oh god, they are low as fuck. And don't say that I use old accounts to make that shit low as fuck because... You have no evidence that I used alt account. So, nice try, bitch. And what's your excuse? Oh, it's obvious and all that because I had no videos. Not everyone wants to make videos, you fucking moron. And MVP Elliot, if you want to talk about alternate accounts, then go ahead because I can always just say, well, you're a fucking hypocrite, aren't you? Because I exposed it before on the dark side of MVP. By the way, still check it out because it's fucking good and god damn the support on it was insane. I love how MVP Elliot says he doesn't want to get into drama, but he gets one of his friends to try and piss me the fuck off for me to say something so stupid, which I do regret saying it, but once again, it's taken out of context. And then get in my live chat and said, ha, recorded, ha, it was clipped. Like, you're starting drama, you fucking idiot. So, what do you want? Drama or no drama? Make your fucking mind up. You know what? You know what's so funny? So, one of his exposed videos on me, the title says, The Last Fidget on the Leafy Fanboy, meaning me, because he thinks I'm a Leafy Fanboy, which I'm not a fanboy, which... Don't get me wrong, I like his content. I do like his content. It doesn't make me 
so obsessed over Leafy, alright? So, the fucking title is a bit of slander, to be fair. But, you know what? I don't care, because I'm not affected by the title that much, so... Whatever. But that title is a lie, because he did make a video about me and Rooster having drama, and saying that we're apparently friends or something, which we're not friends, we were neutral, and I told you this, so shut the fuck up, you retarded idiot. Oh, Mythical, didn't you say the same thing on one of your videos, that you wasn't gonna make another MVP idiot video and all that? Yes, I did, but the difference is... He came at me for no reason and tried to fuck me over. Feel free to call me a hypocrite all you want, because at least I had, like, real reasons to make this on him. And the fucking diss track as well. The way he did it is just another excuse to use my name in his title. And before you say, well, Mythical, you collabed with him and all that, so doesn't that count? No, it doesn't count, because we both agreed on doing that. Because that's very different than not agreeing and agreeing. Or not even asking the person about it, for fuck's sake. <laughs> MVP Elliot and his lazy content. Oh boy. And before you say, well, mythical, commentary channels are known for lazy content, so why are you bringing this up about someone else? Well, mister, let me tell ya, commentary channels being lazy isn't always the case, okay? That's not always the case, because there's a lot of editing, research and all that, and a lot more things. But if you're still there calling me lazy with my content I do, then you're fucking retarded, because I made a 14-minute commentary video what took days to make, so yeah, call me lazy now, bitch. But now let's talk about MVP Elliot and his lazy content. Let's talk about his streams. We all know that MVP Elliot streams a lot, right? Because it's all over his channel and all that stuff. And let's just say this. Streaming is just another way to put out content really quickly. And it doesn't take much effort at all to live stream. Like, before you say, well, live streaming is very tiring and all that other shit, like... Just don't say that, please, because that would trigger me. Because I live streamed for like an entire week. Like live streams, live streams after live streams after live streams on my second channel. And I was not tired out. I, I, I was fine. It was very easy. By the way, go and check out my second channel. I do live streams on there. Before you call me a hypocrite, just hear out what I gotta say. I live stream on my second channel because I don't care for my second channel at all. It's just there. It's just some, well, just a bit more entertainment if I don't upload on my main channel and all that, which I put effort in, by the way. And um, yeah, that's why I live stream on my second channel because I don't care for my second channel and it's just there because why not? So don't you dare start calling me a hypocrite because. I live stream as well. And another thing so fucking lazy with this guy is his Fortnite montages. Yes, it's a bit more work than live streaming. I'll give him that, okay? I'll give him that. But it's not really much thought at all when doing a Fortnite montage. It's just you playing the game and after just... Just fucking editing the clips. That, that's it, like... Yes, it's a bit more work than live streaming, but you're not putting much thought into it. It's just there. Like, I, I, I just think it's lazy. That's what I think. I just think it's lazy. Of course, if you want to share your opinion, then go ahead, because, like, I'm always down to, like, see what you guys think and all that about Fortnite montages or montages in fucking general, okay? You know what? The only way that I won't say that your montages are lazy is if you fucking have godlike fucking editing, alright? Godlike editing. But with your Fortnite montages, they're not... They're barely even edited. Like, they're so dead. All you do is slap a bit of music in the background and all that. And, well, of course, you cut the fucking clips. And you put a fancy little transition now and then again and all that. Like, I'm pretty sure anyone can do that.
And when I'm editing this right now, I do sound like I'm on about um, a commentary channel, which I'm not. I'm on about a Fortnite montage type shit. I'm not on about a commentary channel at all, because commentary channels have more stuff into it. Like, some actual thoughts and all that stuff and research, so don't... Just, just don't say, oh, you just explained what a commentary video is and all that. Like, no, I was not on about a commentary video. I was on about a shitty Fortnite montage. Now let's talk about his videos. And I will say this now, not all of his videos are lazy. Some of them, some of them are lazy, but a lot of them aren't lazy. So I'll give him that. But there's a few that are shit posts, like definitely, but... His most recent fucking video is literally the shittiest post, like, of shit post ever, if that made sense. Probably not. But for example, his latest video, Fortnite delayed Chapter 2 Season 2 until June 4th, which is basically a three minute fucking chit chat, basically. It's just him talking, barely any editing, just his fucking outro and intro i'm pretty sure he added in if i'm correct i got, I got bad memory guys swear down i got bad memory but don't get me started on the thumbnails bro he uses the same thumbnail all the time and when he does make a custom thumbnail for himself it's dog shit honestly oh no his thumbnails are so bad when he makes them but when he doesn't make them, he overuses them all the time. Like, he uses it so fucking much. Like, change the thumbnail up, man. Come on. So that's the end of the video. I could rant on for years, but I should calm down now. But anyway, yes. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you get notified when I upload. Make sure you leave a like on the video as well because that'd be epic. And of course, make sure you join my Discord server. Please go to my Instagram and fucking Twitter, alright? If you don't go there, you'll die, alright? You will die. Jesus Christ, I gotta calm down. And of course, make sure you buy some of my merch, because if you buy the merch, god damn, you're amazing. You're the most amazing human being ever. But if you don't buy the merch, then you will suffer a horrible death. Not even joking, you will. No scam at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know anymore. But, um, yeah. And of course, this is going to be my final words for this video to the MVP fans. Because I feel like a few of them might arrive. And if they're watching to this point, then hear me out. I don't care if you dislike the video or not. Because I don't give a shit. Like, that shit don't affect me. At least watch the full thing again if you really have to. And take in something. And then think about, hold on. Hold on a minute. Maybe Mythical has a good point about this guy. And uh, and if Elliot's watching, which he probably won't be, because he might be like, I'm, I'm not watching this. I, no, it's going to hurt my feelings. But if he's watching this to this point, then, hey, what's up, bro? How are you? I really hope you learn from this, all right? And stop being so sensitive over stupid shit. Stop being a dumbass. And actually put some fucking effort in your YouTube channel if you want to grow. And yes, my video was a bit harsh. And if you're angry at me because of that, then you know what? I'm actually going to be a man about this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that I was harsh. But, you know, it's the only way to get through people's heads these days. But if you're angry at me because I was harsh on you, then I am sorry. Well at, well, at the same time, I'm not sorry because I do not like you. And I know that we won't be on great fucking terms again and all that stuff. Like, neutral again. But if you want to um, speak to me, then at least show your loyalty to my channel and then we can speak. That's the deal, okay? That's the deal. And I mean it, boy. If we don't show no loyalty... Then I'm not speaking to you ever again. Alright? Alright. 
But now I'm going to end it here right now, all right? So the outro should be playing right now and uh and I'm going to get offended over the N word because I am very sensitive. <laughs> <laughs>